All right, guys, so I want to show you something kind of cool and kind of interesting. And this has to do with acids, bases, and with water, right? So if we look at water, water is really the basis of what pH is all about. We hear a lot about this pH scale, which is really, you know, the power of hydrogen. But really what happens, if we look at a chart... And for all of these problems, I always draw this chart just so I can take a look at it. And this is really important in biochemistry also, okay? So at the bottom here, we're going to have, as we go to the right, we're going to have an increase in hydroxide, all right, which is OH minus. But we're also going to have what I call LOP, which is a loss of proton as we go to the right, all right? And on this other side here is our pH scale, right? So with about seven in the middle, 14 at the top, one down here, right? So this is pH. But we also have to keep in mind that as pH goes up and becomes more basic, our hydrogen ion concentration goes down. All right, those, so those two are inversely proportional. So we have a large amount of hydrogen down here. As pH goes up, it's inversely proportional to our hydrogen concentration, which goes down, okay? I know that's kind of confusing. As you go down, H plus is increasing, okay? I know it's, um, anyway, okay, so, all right, so keep that in mind, but why does this happen, right? Where does this hydrogen ion and this hydroxin, hydroxide ion even come from? Well, if we look at water, and we look at the definition of an acid and a base, an acid being a proton donor and a base being a proton acceptor, Hydrogen or water can do both of those things, right? So if hydrogen or if water donates, gets rid of a proton, all right? If it loses a proton, it's going to become OH minus. Right? That's hydroxide. Right? If it loses a proton. If it gains a proton. If it gains a proton, it's going to become H3O+. plus. That's called hydronium. Right? Now, hydronium has a very low pKa, and a pKa basically is a way to distinguish and to classify acidity and strong acids, all right? So a low pKa is a strong acid, and hydronium has a pKa of about negative 2, all right? Less than 0, all right? It's extremely acidic. Water has a PA, uh, pKa of about 16. Make sure I have my numbers right. Okay. So, okay, so with that in mind, and as you can see, water here, it's, it's losing a proton, all right? It is losing a proton. And here... It is donating a proton, all right? So when you get from water to hydronium, when you get from water to hydronium,
He's losing hydrogen. Like it says in that. So donating. That actually doesn't make any sense. If you're donating a proton. Oh, right. Let me, let me rewrite this. If water donates, if water donates a proton, to somebody, it becomes hydroxide. If water accepts a proton from somebody, it becomes hydronium, okay? So if water is donating a proton, it's acting as an acid. And it becomes a conjugate base. Okay, if water accepts a proton, it acts as a base and it becomes hydronium, which is a conjugate acid. And if we look at the pH scale, if we just draw a simple line, right? As you go up, as pH goes up, hydroxide increases, right? And hydrogen ions decrease. They decrease. So when you're in a basic... When you're in a basic environment, to become basic, you want to accept protons. You want to get rid of them. Protons, protons equal acidic, right? The more protons you have, the more acid you have. When you're in an acidic environment, Because what happens is bases suck up all the protons. Like an OH minus. An OH minus is the classic base. It is so easily, so easily going to take a proton and form water, right? So in an acidic environment, acids want to give protons to the environment. They're giving them out like candy. Because the more H plus you have, so like dollar bills being donated, the more acid you have. Okay? So that's kind of how I think about that. All right. So the other thing that we can look at with these pKa values, remember water has a pKa of 16. Hydronium is about negative two. <clears throat> the other thing I want to just mention briefly about pH, and sometimes you can get the pH scale because, again, pH and, P and uh, hydrogen ions are inversely proportional. The other thing you can remember is pH is good, right? pH is good if you think of acid as bad. pH is good for the oceans. That's why acid rain is, is so bad for the oceans because it lowers the pH. The less pH we have, the more acidic ocean we have, which is harmful to the environment, okay? 
But the other thing we can keep in mind, I always draw, I always draw this kind of generic PKA. And this is really what this graph is, is PKA. I draw this generic PKA graph. Some numbers that we need to remember. Actually, this should really be here, around here, right? A pH of around four is where carboxyl is, peak, is the pK value of carboxyl. All right. And then around eight, where I see 10 in some books, eight, 10, is NH3 plus. And I'm drawing them on the left for a reason, because as soon as they cross their pKa threshold, they're gonna start to lose their proton. And that will become COL minus, and this will become NH2. And if we look at this in relation to water, water has a pKa of 16, right? So water is all the way up here, off the charts even, a pKa of 16. Okay. And remember, hydronium has a pKa of negative 2. So, so hydronium is only going to exist... at this extremely acidic environment on the left side below a pK of negative two is where hydronium is going to exist right this h3a plus as soon as we cross as soon as we get to a ph and you can see how ph and pKa as pKa goes up ph goes up okay and it flattens out as all the COOHs become COL minuses, as the, all the hydroniums, all the NH3 become NH2. So as soon as H3O passes this pKa mark, it loses a proton. And what does it become? It becomes water. So everything in this whole roller coaster ride, water is going to exist. It is not until a pKa, an extremely basic environment of 16 where H2O is going to lose that second hydrogen and OH minus will, will dominate at a pKa higher than 16. All right. So that's just kind of how I understand this. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Again, you can look at, you know, down here at this part of the graph, acidic, as you go up higher and higher and higher, you get more basic. But as long as you understand your hydroxide, your hydrogen ion, pH, and how this all kind of interacts, it's actually pretty cool. And you'll never forget, if you forget what a conjugate acid is, a conjugate base, look at water. And if you remember water, hydroxide, and hydronium. And a lot of people say that hydronium is really the same thing as a hydrogen proton, right? When you split water, you split it into hydroxide and a hydronium ion. You know, if you can remember that and that water donating a proton means it's acting as an acid and creating, you know, OH minus is the conjugate base of all conjugate bases, right? And H3O plus is the conjugate acid of all conjugate acids. So if you can remember that, you'll be pretty good.